Our story begins on a bright sunny day out in the tropical islands above Bikini Bottom. Today was Christmas Eve, and every year an iceberg drifts over the oceans bringing snow and delights down to the citizens of Bikini Bottom, bringing everyone joyful and a wonderful time of the year. Woo! I cannot believe Christmas Eve is already here! And you know what that means? That means tomorrow is the very first annual Carson Craft Christmas party! And everyone is invited! Except for you, Gary, because the last time you went there you bit everyone and then they got very angry and they had to kick both of us out. But this year, you're gonna stay home all by yourself without any supervision, okay? Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting the finishing touches on Mr. Craft's present so I can give it to him tomorrow on the Christmas party. Okay, I already got the present already out of the box, so let's make sure if it works. It's a music box, Gary. And it plays one of my favorite Christmas songs. Deck the halls, joy to the world, let it snow, and let it go from Frozen. Which nobody likes, and I don't know why, it was a really good Disney movie. Okay, alright, let's go ahead and crank this baby up and see if the songs will play correctly. Okay, I'm gonna give this music box a little whack. There we go, now it's time for us to start playing the Christmas song. Ding, 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 ding. Wait a second, why did the music box slow down right in the very first verse of Deck the Halls? Well, I'm gonna tr try this again. It probably needs to be cranked a little bit faster than that. Okay, let's give this a second try. Okay, Gary, round two. Ding, 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 Oh my god, that's the second time the music weren't down! <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be my last time with the stupid music box and I swear if it's not played deck the halls correctly, I'm gonna throw a rage! <laughs> Alright, one last time! Alright, you better work this time, you stupid little piece of Ding 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 Well you know what these same baseball Gary, three strikes you're out! Well, that, well, that, I'll uh, have to work here on this music box then. Well, you know what, I think it's broken, I guess. I think that's why every time I crank it, the music box gets worn down. Either it's broken, or either I'm not cranking fast enough. I think it's probably broken. Well, you know what, I can't just give Mr. Crash a broken gift, because I just have to go back to the Christmas store myself and exchange it back for a new one. Wait a second, I gotta do this by myself? I'm gonna take someone, and I can't take you because it's illegal to take pets to the music store. I mean, Christmas store, I'm sorry. But who I'm gonna take with me? Hey. I know the perfectly good person I can take to the Christmas store! Ooh, I'm so glad I came up with this idea. Well, I better go in there and ask Sandy if she can help me with this little music box situation so we can go to the Christmas store and it's dangerous before Christmas Eve is over. Well, time to get going. Um, excuse me, Sandy, um, I'm sorry to interrupt what you're doing, but this is really, really, really serious, so we need to have a little conversation right now, if that's okay with you. Oh, hey there, SpongeBob, I didn't see you back there. Oh, I said your name, didn't you hear me? Oh, sorry, I was drinking my coffee. Coffee? You drink coffee? Uh, yeah, is that a problem? Uh, no, 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 I don't, I don't have any offense with coffee. I really do like coffee, but... Yeah. Anyways, this is not my deal. Um, I'm holding this music box right, it's for the Christmas party tomorrow at the Krusty Krab, but it's broken. How is it broken? Um, I don't know, wait, I'm, I'm gonna show you right quick. It's supposed to play Deck the Halls right, but every time I crank it, the music screws up. Well, why don't you crank it up and then we'll let's hear it. Okay, but you're not gonna like it. Alright, I'm about to start cranking this baby up, okay? Alright, just go ahead and crank it up so I can help your little situation problem. Okay, here goes. Ding 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 Well that sure didn't sound like no deck the halls. Exactly, Sandy. That's the reason why I came down here to ask you if you can if you can be helpful to come down to the Christmas store and help me exchange it. Well I'll be happy to help you, SpongeBob. Ah, uh, thank you. Well, since we're going to that Christmas store, we better get going before it gets get dark. Well, I got the perfect transportation. Oh, you do? Exactly. Follow me. But let me finish up my coffee first. I mean, you know what? I'll finish it up later. Alright, Sandy, let's get going to the Christmas store. Well, here it is. <gasps> wow, it looks amazing. It looks like a sleigh. Um, uh, that's because it is one. Oh, did you make it yourself? Uh, 
No, I just bought it and then I just attached some engines on the back that will travel to 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour, that's how fast it travels. Or you can multiply it by 3. Ooh, cool. Well, we better get going, because I'm starting to sense that the moon is about to rise. Yep, I'm starting to see it too. Alright, now if you want to quickly get on over there, we better get going. Alright, enough talking. Let's get going. Alright, SpongeBob, are you perfectly seated back there? Yes, I feel perfectly fine, and this is a really nice, comfortable ride. Okay, next stop, the Christmas store. Yay, this is gonna be sweet! And so SpongeBob and Sandy took a ride on the sleigh to the Christmas store to change Mr. Krabs' music box for a brand new one on a Christmas Eve night. I sure hate my boss, making me work on Christmas Eve, making me miss my quality family time, and I'm stuck up here in luggage sewage just waiting for customers to come by on Christmas Eve. You know what, I'm about to, I'm about, in the next five more minutes, I'm about to close myself out of this place. Oh, I just want to get out of here so bad. Well, here we are at the Christmas store. Oh, goody. We got here just in time. It's already 7 o'clock at night. Let's go ahead and exchange this gift. Oh great, this can't be serious. We already got two customers outside waiting. Ugh. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly serve the most so I can go ahead and get this over so I can just go home and just spend the rest of my Christmas with my family instead of in a stupid Christmas store all crumped up and locked up. Well, Sandy, we finally made it here at the Christmas store and um, it's starting to get a little chilly out here. Yeah, and I'm starting to get frostbite out here too. Well, you're wearing a suit, so apparently you're supposed to be unprotected from the cold weather. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, let's go ahead and go inside and give... Um, not give, I mean, to exchange this music box for a new one. Okay, I'm right beside you. Hello there, Mr. Store Clerks Man. Merry Christmas Eve. Um, we are here to exchange this music box for a new one, and I see one right beside you and your shelf. So is it okay we can exchange it? Look, kids, it's a little bit way past your bedtime. I think you guys should to pack your stuff and go. But we are here to exchange this gift for, for SpongeBob here. Look, I don't care, all right? Uh, I'm supposed to be gone for the Christmas Eve, but my boss wants me to stay here over time. Ooh, don't be telling your problems about it. Yeah, we're just here to exchange his music box. Is that okay? Is that okay with you? No, I don't want you guys exchanging nothing. Oh, come on, Mr. Store Clerk, this is really serious. We, this is for a Christmas party that we have to go to tomorrow. All you have to, all, all we're asking you is may we please exchange the gift, like a replacement for it. All right, what's the matter with it? Um, it's supposed to play Deck the Halls, right? But the music box keeps screwing up. Well, that's not my problem. Um, it is your problem. Chumps, chipmunk. I am a, uh, you know, I'm not going to argue right now. Are you two little whiny children? I'm going to let you allow you to exchange the gift. You got about like 20 seconds to do this process, then you better get out of the store, or else I'm gonna call the police on both of you two. Uh, well, for what, sir? We just want to exchange this gift. You're wasting my time. All right, okay, we're gonna go ahead and exchange the gift. Sandy, go back there and get that music box. I'll be happy to. All right, SpongeBob, I got you the new music box that you asked for. Wow, Sandy, thank you very, very much. Now we can all go home now. Wait a second, where do you think you guys are going? Um, we're about to go home. That's well, that's all we came here for, to exchange this music box for a new one. Well, you have to pay for it then. Oh, uh, darn it, I left my wallet at the house. Did you bring yours? Um, I don't have a wallet. <gasps> so you're telling me you kids came here without no money? I am shocked. Why you keep calling us children? Because you can clearly our children and look at your face expressions. Uh, you know what, sir? Um, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna take the Christmas gifts, right? And then we're gonna just go home with it. My friend is making a really good point, Mr. Store Clerks Man. We're gonna pay the ten dollars tomorrow because we got because we gotta get some sleep tonight for the Christmas party for the Krusty Krab tomorrow. Whoa! Well, you know what? That's not how it works here. You're either gonna pay me the ten dollars or you're not gonna get the music box then. Well. Sir, we already gave you, we already told you what we're gonna do. Alright, Sandy, let's go ahead and get on going before the store clerk's man decides to get really hasty with us. Okay, I'm agreeing with you more than that. Looks like those two kids are trying to get away from paying money so they can go to that stupid little Christmas party tomorrow. Well, looks like they ain't gonna go then. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Why's the door blockaded? I don't know, maybe we should ask the store clerk's man. I mean, excuse me, Mr. Store Clerk's man. We're just about to leave until we just saw a metal bar cage 
blockaded the door. Well, I did that. Well, why would you do that, sir? Oh, so you think you can go away without paying your money, huh? That little Christmas party that you got to go into? Yeah, so we have to go. Well, you know what? I have to kiss that little Christmas party goodbye. You're going to be spending the rest of the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day here at this Christmas store. And then you think about why it's important to pay before you take the run along with stuff. <gasps> you can't do that. That is by far the most selfish thing I've ever heard. Locking someone in the Christmas store just because they forgot to bring money. Well, you should have brought your money, then you won't be having this con this little situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you, you think it's funny? You don't you don't see me smiling, don't you? I ain't caring no one bit. Now start whimpering, because you're missing that Christmas party. Sandy, why do we even came here? And so, locked in the Christmas store, Spider-Man and Sandy will be missing their Christmas party for not paying for the music box. How will this will end? Will they ever get to the Christmas party? Or will the evil clerks man have his last laugh? You have to stay tuned until part two of The Great Christmas Lockout. Our story begins back at the Christmas stop, where, Sam where SpongeBob and Sandy are locked in from the clerk for not paying for the music box that they purchased. I wonder how they're doing so far in the, in the old, rusty old story. Marijuana! Uh, crystal meth! Drugs! Uh, uh, uh. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe we're gonna be spending Christmas inside this store! If I should've never came here, we would've been dealing with this situation. I want to ask Sandy to help me out, but she's sleeping right now. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna wake her up anyway. I'm oh, Sandy, can you wake up? Please, I need to talk to you. This is really important. Well, oh, darn it, she's still sleeping. Come on, Sandy, wake up. I know you I know you want, you want to hear this. You know, you know, I know it's illegal, but I have to do this anyway. I just have to slap her across the face in order to wake her up then. Oh, man, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Gosh darn it, SpongeBob, why'd you slap me across the face for? I'm sorry, Sandy, I was the only way to wake you up. Gosh, you could have, like, shook me or something. I'm sorry. Look, I just tried to tell you that I can't sleep here anymore. Well, what you... I'm, I know, I know, I know, I don't want us to be here either, but that's no excuse for you slapping me in the face. I'm gonna stand quiet before he wakes up. We don't want, we don't want to get in more trouble. <laughs> Alright, look, what you want me up for? Look, this is really important, um, I'm about the, about the music box thing. I'm really sorry that we came here. We should have stayed home. I mean, we could have just gave Mr. Krabs a different gift or something. Well, I know you didn't mean to, but seriously, next time don't slap me across the face like that again. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Sandy, okay, I'm sorry. Let's go back to sleep now. Good. All I want for Christmas is two hot ladies I can make out with. Oh my goodness, that guy is really loud. Exactly, that's, that's another reason I don't want to be here. Well, let's just ignore him then. Alright, your advice then. Finally, after all of that loud commotion, everyone went back to sleep. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. <laughs> I cannot believe today is Christmas Day, and you know what that means? It is time to start the Christmas party. Hey Squidward, where are you? Oh, there you are Squidward. Are you ready to start the Christmas party? Mr. Krabs, how on earth are we going to start the Christmas party without Spongebob, Sandy, Patrick, and all the other annoying little friends that are not supposed to be here? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about them. Um, have you seen them? No, I have not seen them all day, Mr. Krabs. I've seen them yesterday on Christmas Eve, but I think they're really busy getting dressed for the Christmas party today. Well, we better get hurt, but they better hurry up. I see a lot of paying customers out there. Um, Mr. Krabs, I don't think those customers look really happy. What do you mean? The, like, this one guy has a really crooked look on his face. Well, let me take a look at him. Oh my goodness, they do look pretty cross. I told you, Mr. Krabs. Now we better hurry up and tell them. Well, you know what? We might as well start the Christmas party without them then. Wait, Mr. Krabs, are you sure? Yes, you can prepare for the party. Okay, um, what do you want me to do? Well, Squidward, since SpongeBob is in here clicking for everybody, you'll be taking over the grill. But Mr. Krabs is not my job. I take the people's orders, and SpongeBob makes the Krabby Patties, and you deliver to the customer. Mr. Squidward, are you questioning me? Oh, no, I'm not questioning you. Good, then you better go back there and click the Krabby Patties, I'll have your rear ends cut off. Alright, on Christmas Day, Mr. Krabs, seriously, on Christmas Day? I don't care. Take the spatula and start flipping me some patties. All right, all right, fine, Mr. Grumpy Pants. I might as well go over there. Well, I hope SpongeBob better gets here on time. Or else he'll also be fired from this restaurant for the rest of his life. I hear you talking about there, Mr. Krabs. Just shut up. Let me cook the Krabby Patties. So we start this darn Christmas party. 
All right, all right, all right, I'll set up now. Woo, it is finally Christmas morning. The snow has finally fallen and the sky is finally back to its bright blue skies. Oh, darn it, I forgot we're still stuck inside this Christmas store. Ugh. Well, you know what, I'm gonna go ask Angry Clerk Salesman, can we please go to the Christmas party, because I am not gonna spend another day here! Good morning, Spongebob. Merry Christmas. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Sandy. Why, why are you so happy? I don't know, it's just Christmas and whatnot. You know, you, you realize we were still inside this Christmas store, right? Yeah, but, but why are you smiling still? Because it's Christmas, you're supposed to be happy on Christmas. Well, I'm not happy right now. I'm about to go tell this stupid Clerk Salesman to get us on out of here! Well, okay, if he accepts it. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not in the mood to smile right now, cause, okay, and you making me want to smile is not gonna help at all. Alright, it's your decision not to smile, dude. I'm not gonna force you to. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and wake, I'm gonna go ahead and wake up the stupid clerk salesman and tell him, can we, can we go now? Alright, Sandy, I have to yell at the top of my voice to wake him up. Okay, if you want to. <sighs> You're so, well, you know, whatever. Alright, hey, you clerk salesman, wake up! This is really serious and we need to get on out of here. Um, I think you need to yell a little bit louder. I'm not gonna strain my voice, Sandy. Why don't you yell? Uh, I don't wanna yell. See, you don't want- you don't want- you, you wanna stay here, don't you? I don't wanna stay here. Then yell. I'm not going to yell. You want, come on, I'll, I'll just- I'll, you wanna slap him? Well, no, if you slap, you're gonna, you're gonna get really angry at you. I don't care, Sandy. If I- if, if I slap you to wake you up, so- so, so should he. Alright, but if he, he- if he starts yelling at you, it's not gonna be my fault. Hey, wake up, you stupid old ball headed. Oh, Sponge Guy! I know go well you did not just slap me in the face! Well, look, sir, I had to wake you up. I was You lucky I didn't- You lucky I didn't- You lucky I don't have my toaster oven with me, or else I will just put you in that toaster and make Pop-Tarts out of you! Whoa, calm down, dude. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Wait, what? It's Christmas? Yes, it's Christmas, dude. That's why I woke you up. That's no excuse for slap- Oh, it's like you were- it's like, well, fine, you're gonna stay here on New Year's then! Dude, look, sir, we're here to wake you up to tell us that. We really need to be going it's about the little music box thing. I'm very sorry that we didn't pay you the money. We just really need to get out of here, sir. We can't stay here forever. Well, I'm sorry, children. You guys can't leave because you guys didn't pay $10 when you first got the music box. You know what, sir? I am really about proud of your attitude. You keep calling us children, and you keep yelling at us for no reason. Well, I already gave you the point for guilty reason. Look, look, we're, we're very, like my friend said, we are really, he is really sorry that we forgot to pay the money. Can we just keep, can we just get it for free? Why? Why you want it for free so you can get away with it? Exactly. We gotta go to this Christmas party. You know what, my friend Sandy's making a really good point, so you really are about to make us angry. Well, this is what you get for not paying the 10 bucks. Call his children one more time and I will give you a serious beating. Ha ha ha! I cannot believe it, you are gonna give me a serious beating. Um, so you better not make fun of Sandy, because she can really knock you out like in like in a few seconds, bro. Oh, what you gonna do? Are you, are you gonna knock me out? Alright, Mr. Clark Salesman, let me teach you a game that we used to play back in Texas called Do or Die. Well, is that a bomb in your hand? Yes, it's a bomb. We didn't think it is. Oh, well, Sandy, you really need to calm down. That's like the angriest I've ever seen you from you. Yeah, exactly. I don't like to get angry on Christmas, but this guy's ruining it for me. Well, yeah, well, 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 I kind of do agree with you, but you really need to calm down. Well, alright, mister, let me tell you one thing. You better get us out of here or else I'm gonna just blow this whole place up. You, do you want that? Oh, uh, no, I don't want that. Then let us out. Well, if you just pay... Wait, if you just pay me the $10 for your little music box, I'll let you go. But now where's your wallet? I told you I left it at the house. Are you that stupid? Well, you didn't let you, you didn't bring your wallet too, so why are you calling me stupid for it? Well, you know what? I really don't want to do this, but I have no choice anyway. Alright, well, you know what? I... I'm, I have a I have an announcement to make. Are you sure? Yes, I have a really announcement to make. Uh, so you please put down the time bomb. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna hear this announcement. It better be quick. All right. Here's the story that I have to tell you guys. Um, the reason why I got so cranky today because my boss had to make me work here on Christmas Day. That's the reason why I was a little cranky on you guys and 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 closed down these sealed gates. But um, since I was being since my boss has been pushing me a lot lately, I've had to be. Been, been a little stricken lately. Can you hurry with your story already so we can get out of here? Sandy, be quiet. He's telling the truth. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the reason why I kind of sealed up these doors so you guys who want to escape on Christmas Day. But this is kind of unfair. Look, I'm really sorry, um, 
What do you two names are? Uh, my name is SpongeBob, and this girl right here is named Sandy. Me and our, me and I, me and her are really close friends, sir. I'm really apologize about how I acted. Um, you guys can go ahead and take the music box for free, and you guys can go to a little Christmas party. What? Are you serious? You're telling us we can leave? Yes, I'm really not this kind of cranky guy. You guys can go ahead and take the music box for free, and you can pay it up later. But that was kind of hard for me locking you guys up on Christmas Day. Wow, that's really thoughtful for you. Yes, yeah, thank you, Mr. Store Clerks, man. My name's Dale. Well, nice to meet you, Dale. Well, nice to meet you too, SpongeBob. And what's um her name again? I'm um, Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Um, I just have a dog named Sandy. And um, wow, for real? Yes. And yeah. So, all right, guys. Um, you guys can go to your Christmas party. Well, Dale. Um, we have a confession to make. What is it, SpongeBob? Well, Dale, since you were very kind of us to let us go and take the music box for free, how about you like to come with our Christmas party? Yeah, you can you can join us if you want to. Wow, that's really nice of you guys, but I'm gonna text my wife first to let, to let her know that I'm gonna be with you guys. Then I tell her that I met some new friends today. Well, what? Wait, text? Oh, what is that? Well, it's my about saying it means you get up, you pull out your cell phone, then you text someone. Come on now, you're a scientific person. Well, I forgot. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys out. Thank you, Dale. Yeah, that is very kind of you. And I'm very sorry about the time bomb. It's alright. You know, I know you didn't mean to. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and unseal these doors so you guys so we can go to that little Christmas party. Where's it located? Krusty Krab. Ooh, I love that restaurant. Okay, SpongeBob and Sandy, let me go ahead and press this red button, and then you guys will be free to go to the Christmas party, and I'll tag along with you. Alright, go ahead, Dale, and hit that button. Dee 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 dee. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now we can all go to the Christmas party now. Woo! This is gonna be so amazing. Thank you, Dale. You are such a nice guy. Get there before we be before we become late. All right, good point, Sandy. Let's go to your sleigh. Don't forget the music box. Oh, I sure won't forget it. All right, got the music box. Okay, time to get going to the Christmas party. All right, I'm gonna head you guys all out now. Let's go so we can celebrate Christmas and a happy new year. You got that perfectly right, Dale. So off Spongebob, Sandy, and Dale went to the Krusty Krab for the annual Christmas party, and they will never forget the time when they got locked in that old Krusty cell anyways. Okay, Mr. Krabs, here are all the Krabby Patties that I made for the party. There are eight of them each. Wow, eight Krabby Patties. I'm pretty impressed, Mr. Squidward. I didn't, I didn't even see you back there cooking them. Maybe you should do the cooking more. No, Mr. Krabs, I would, never, I would rather not do cooking, because it took me in about three and a half hours to make all of these Krabby Patties, and I did not know what to do. Well, that's what I give you the formula for. Well, where on earth is SpongeBob? He's about, he's about an hour late. I know, I'm about this close to firing him. Well, make way, Patrick Star coming through. Get out of my way. Bye bye. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, right, thank you. Well, hello there, Squidward and Mr. Krabs. Merry Christmas. Oh. Hey, Patrick. Um, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here for the Christmas party. Um, have you guys seen SpongeBob? I haven't seen him all day. Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. Well, you better get here fast. So we can start this party. Ooh, I smoke Krabby Patties. Is that for me? No, Patrick, it's just not for you. It's for the everybody who's going to the party. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we should be here in the next few minutes or so. Well, I hope so. You know what? I about had it with this waiting. You know what? Let's go somewhere else, guys. Yeah. We better get on out here because we waited way too long. We want more Krabby Patties! Dude, calm down, Dale. I'm not Dale. I'm, um, Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. Come on, Steve. Let's go somewhere else. All right, fine. I'm going with you guys anyway. <laughs> we finally made it! Yeah! And we got here just in time for the Christmas party! Alright guys, are you guys ready to go inside the Krusty Krab and start this party? You know I like the party! Alright, let's go ahead and go inside this place and wish everyone a merry, merry, merry Christmas! Good thing, Dale! Let's go ahead and go inside! Hello everyone! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Hey look, SpongeBob made it to the party! Yeah, and he brought in Sandy and some weird guy! <gasps> It's a burglar! Patrick, calm down, he's not a burglar. Uh, oh, then who is he then? He's our new friend that we met. Uh, well, um, 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 okay, um, oh, sorry if I'm freaking out. Sorry about you, if I thought you, if I mistaken you as a burglar, I, I really apologize. Well, hello there, SpongeBob and Sandy. I'm so glad you made it to the party on time, because we were about to really freak out about, about you guys not being there on time. Well, it's okay, Mr. Krabs, but we finally made it to the party now. We're happy to, and we're happy to make it here. And good news, Mr. Krabs, we made a brand new friend. Say hello to Dale. Hello there, Dale. Well, hello there. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Krabs. The starfish over there is Patrick, and the octopus name is Squidward. 
Well, nice to meet all three of you guys. Well, um, to tell you the truth, um, I accidentally um, locked your 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 two other friends, Sponge and the Squirrel, because um, my boss made me work over the Christmas Eve, and I got a little hissy with them, so I decided to let him free. Oh, so you guys were locked in a Christmas store? Yes, but this guy was having enough to let us free. Well, I'm glad to hear you guys are okay. All right, Mr. Krabs, before we start the party, I want to give you this little present I got you. Ooh, what is it? Is that that white box you're holding? Yes, Mr. Krabs. What is it? It's a music box. A music box? Are you kidding me? Mr. Krabs, look, I did this because I wanted to, because 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 you were a very nice friend. Don't get all hissy if you don't like it. All right, I'm sorry, SpongeBob. I'm really sorry. Well, I can't wait to hear what it plays. Oh, you're going to love this song, everyone. Let, let's all get together and hold hands. Why do we have to hold hands, SpongeBob? This ain't church. It's quite weird. We're going to hold hands. We're going to sing the Christmas song that we're going to play on the music box. Well, since this is Christmas, oh, what the heck, let's get this over with. Okay, we are now holding hands. Now it's time for us to play Deck the Halls. Ooh, that's one of my favorite Christmas songs. Get ready to sing, everyone. Here we go. Ding, 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 ding.